project we're working on is with the spotted knapweed, which is, which is here. Uh, it's an invasive weed that came in from Eastern Europe more than 50 years ago. It was a problem throughout the northern uh, U.S. and Canada uh, and has been spreading southward, uh, particularly over the last 10 years. Uh, the weed is most visible to the public along roadsides as a pretty purple flower, but it causes trouble in, in ranch lands and pastures where it displaces uh, forage uh, grasses that are used for cattle. There's a number of ways to control the weed using herbicides, but that's quite expensive. And also over large ranges, it, it doesn't, isn't practical. The way we're, we're looking at is using biological control, and that is using beneficial insects that eat the weed, this weed and this weed only. Uh, it has a long history of success, the program does. Uh, we've selected two of these species, they're both small weevils uh, that feed on the plant. The weevil we're focusing on now is the flower weevil, and that's because we've released it in 43 different locations uh, where it is established in northwest Arkansas. Beetles. Okay, so these beetles are from Greece, actually, well, originally. We've collected them in Colorado Springs and brought them here. All we basically do is take a large bucket like this and find a plant that has a large number of weevils on it. And then all you basically have to do is take the plant and put it over the bucket and shake it. And then the weevils drop because they're frightened and they end up in the bucket. Biological control of weeds isn't an overnight program in terms of the success of it. Once these weevils are established, it will take some time for them to reduce the weed population in an area. But we expect that over time, uh, within a decade, we'll see a significant reduction in the locations where we have uh, released these weevils. The weevils will spread on their own, so once they're well established, they'll take no more effort uh, by us than no additional cost. These weevils uh, overwinter as an adult and in the soil, and as a plant emerges, they begin to feed on the leaves, and after they've mated, the female will lay her egg in the tip of the flower and then that egg hatches and the larva develops inside the seed bud, the flower bud, and one larva will, will uh, emerge from that flower bud. In the process, it consumes the entire, all the seeds in that one flower bud. When I'm looking at the larval development of this weevil that we're working with. Uh, my research will determine the life stage of each larva. I'll put a uh, female on one of these bags, and then from there doing weekly dissections and uh, determining the length of each larval stage. We began the release program for this, this flowerhead weevil four years ago, and we released small numbers, maybe at, at different sites, 300 individual weevils were released in each field in each location in Arkansas. The following year, we increased our collections in Colorado and made releases at more sites, and then in the last two years, we've made even, even more sites, so we have a total of 43 established locations uh, for this insect. Our goal in the near term is to take it from these establishment sites and release it in other places in the state.